In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Sensa Metals Collection Satin Silver Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Sensa Metals Collection Satin Silver Fountain Pen. Sensa is a brand that I have not seen for quite a long time. When I was a kid, my local stationery store carried these pens. When I went there, I liked playing with them. They were not in my price range, and they were ballpoints, so at the, I wasn't as interested. But anyway, I, I saw this pen on sale. It was a fountain pen. I said, okay, let's, let's do it. Let's talk about just... Sensa in general. Their slogan is the world's most comfortable pen. They all have these plasmium grips. That's like a trademarked thing. I don't know what's inside of it. It's some kind of like liquid gel. It kind of works like a memory foam or, or something like that. They also claim that it can reduce cramping from note taking by up to 50%. I don't know how they quantify that, but they claim that they worked with people in the field of ergonomics, and supposedly they took 10 years to develop it before it was first released in 1995. Now, let's walk through the pen. So the body of the pen is brass with this sort of silver metallic finish. It's kind of a, a cheap looking and feeling pen, and I'll be 100% honest, right before I started filming this, I broke the pen. So I'll show you what happened in a minute, but let's walk through it. So the cap here, completely straight until the end here, we get to like this sort of semi, I don't know, it's not quite a knurling, but there's sort of a, a pattern in there where it kind of flares out. And then we have the Sensa finial here, looks cheap. Clip here, pretty strong clip. It's not uh, spring-loaded or anything. Sensa logo says Sensa, and then we have Sensa here printed in black. When I first got this pen, I, it sort of looked crooked, uh, and that's just because the cap doesn't really seat onto the, the pen very nicely, and I've found that if I leave this pen for a day or two without using it, it takes a minute for it to get flowing correctly again. So we're not getting a super airtight seal out of this cap, unfortunately. And then if we go to the... You know, the real star of the show here, the plasmium grip. So we have this big, thick grip with this sort of clear material. Now, in the metals collection, there's silver and there's gold, and the gold has more of a, a gold-colored grip, uh, whereas this is the more typical sort of clear, translucent grip that you get on the normal Sensa pens. You, you'll notice at the edges here, there are these metal pieces that kind of flare out towards the grip section. And that's basically so that it doesn't move down the pen when you squeeze it here. And when I first got this pen, I found myself, for whatever reason, wanting to grip it here. That's just what felt right. This is sharp when you do this. So I would get an imprint in my finger from that pretty sharp metal piece here. So you definitely need to be careful where you hold this. I mean, obviously, if you look at the design of it, you don't think, oh, I want to hold it here. But for whatever reason, I did. But hold it further back, and it actually is quite comfortable. It really acts sort of like a memory foam. It takes a minute for it to come back into place. I don't exactly know what's in it, some kind of liquid gel material. So taking off the cap here, we have these little rings here, which sort of connect to like the, the clutch on the, the inside of the, the cap here. I believe this is a Schmidt nib. It's a steel nib says Iridium Point, and then at the very base of the nib, it says Sensa. They just say it's a German-made Iridium Point nib. It writes, it writes fine. I don't have any complaints about the performance of the way that this pen writes. Again, though, this cap is not the best, does not provide the best seal, so getting it started can be kind of annoying. Okay, now let's talk about how I broke the pen. Well, I don't want to say I broke the pen. The pen broke. I was trying to unscrew the barrel here, and, well, there's supposed to be threading here, but there's not. It's in here. So there's supposed to be threading. This isn't supposed to come off like that. It comes with this 
converter, just a cheap little converter works like this. It did come with a cartridge, which I went through. It does seem to be a proprietary cartridge. It's about this long. It's a little bit bigger than a international short cartridge. So an international short cartridge will not fit in here. The long one will fit in here, but you won't be able to fit the back on here. I do not know if you can buy cartridges for this other than the Sensa branded ones. I'm hoping that there's another cartridge that would fit this, but I, I'm not aware of one. If you guys know of one, let me know. But anyway, if you buy this pen, you're pretty much going to be using that converter, which is, is fine. It, it works fine. The Sensa branded cartridges only come in black and blue. And also the nib for this pen only comes in a medium point, so you don't get any options for the nib. Again, really, this is a pen that is all about this grip section. The pen does post pretty nicely onto the back here. It stays on there securely. Let's do some measurements. Looking at about 142 millimeters long, uncapped. Looking at 112 millimeters and posted. Looking at about 151 millimeters. Looking at it, obviously it's a, it's a skinny pen, but the grip section is big and chunky. So it's actually quite, a comfortable pen. Is it the world's most comfortable pen? I don't know about that. But okay, so anyway, the middle of the grip section where it sort of tapers, a l well, <laughs> see I have to be careful not to squeeze it because otherwise it'll just go in. About 12 at the fattest point here, aye, 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 about 14. So this is a big grip section. If you're somebody that is maybe suffering from arthritis or just really likes a thick grip section, this could be a good option for you. The quality of the pen is not amazing. The body is supposedly brass. This isn't exactly a, a pen that you're going to be passing on to your grandchildren or something like that. It, it won't survive. And I know some of the original Sensa pens, the grip section does not last forever. It'll eventually get dirty and it'll eventually become tacky. Now, I don't know how long that will take to happen. I've had this pen for, I think, a little bit over a month, and I've been using it a lot, and I haven't really seen any issues with it. I do have kind of a weird line here that's sort of started to develop, but other than that, it, it seems to be okay f for now. Now, let's do the weight. 33.49 grams, so good weight to it. I mean, it is a metal pen, and then unposted 19.9 so not too heavy unposted it is a short pen if you have big hands you're going to want to use this posted no question about it i find it comfortable posted unposted does work for me but if you have bigger hands i think you're going to need to use it posted it does balance pretty well this is quite a comfortable pen is it the world's most comfortable pen i'm not sure about that, but it is comfy. I do like the feel of the grip section. It is, it is cool. Before we do the writing sample, I'm doing this on Paper Mind Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. This is my own brand of notebooks, and for Blake's Broadcast subscribers, I'm giving 10% off. You can use code BB10 at thepapermind.com. Okay, let's get on to the writing sample. Now, so I haven't used this pen in two days. So I do not know if it's going to write right away. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, that's pretty good. Metals, and this is a medium, and this is for Schaefer blue. Okay. It is cushy. Uh, I it's it's comfortable. Okay, fast writing. Okay. Uh, so, writing performance is good. You know, it's it's uh, there's really just not a lot to say about this nib. These skips here, that was me. That wasn't the nib. It's 
standard Schmidt medium nib. It writes nicely. I don't have any performance issues. I did have problems with it hard starting, but I really think that's down to the, the cap. Now, in terms of reverse writing, seems to be able to do it. Relat it's relatively smooth. Maybe it's, maybe it's this paper. I don't know. Yeah, and you definitely do get a difference in the line there. Flexibility, I mean, this is, you know, and it's, you can get a tiny bit, but it's a nail. I really wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so what are my pros and cons for the Sensa Satin Silver Fountain Pen? The biggest pro is this plasmium grip. It sort of works like a memory foam, and if you hold it in the correct position, it is quite comfortable. I do find that I could get longer writing sessions, uh, and it remains pretty comfortable. Now, in terms of cons, the biggest con is the build quality. I broke this pen filming this video. The back threading somehow got stuck into the, the body, and... Yeah, it's, I broke it. When I first got the pen, I was worried about it because the cap kind of doesn't always, you know, sit very securely. And sure enough, you know, after not writing with it for a day or two, it got dried up. So this is not very well made. It is disappointing that it seems to be a proprietary cartridge or converter. Really not impressed with the quality of this pen. And to be honest, I went back and forth as to whether I'm going to actually release this video because generally I don't want to do reviews of things that I don't like. I think the grip makes this pen interesting enough that I felt like I should just do the review. But yeah, overall, I don't recommend this. Retail price is $105. No way. I paid $39 for this from the Fountain Pen Hospital. No affiliation, but bought pens from them from a long time, and they are a nice store. Anyway, that is it. That is the Sensa Satin Silver Fountain Pen. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.